Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And this video, we're going to have a look at the new features for Azure Arc enabled servers, such as extensions, update management, change tracking and inventory, and Azure Monitor. So stay tuned. As you know, Azure Arc enables us to basically bring Azure services and Azure management to any infrastructure. Now, in terms of Azure Arc enabled servers, this means that we can join non Azure service running on prem or at other cloud providers to the Azure Resource Manager and take advantage of the Azure management uh, tools. So for example, when we released Azure Arc for servers, we were able to use Azure policy or Azure guest configuration policy to audit operating system and application settings within these servers or we were able to use role-based access uh, for accessing the log analytics workspace and the logs for that specific server. Now Azure Arc enabled servers just got a huge update. We now have extensions which allow us, for example, to run custom, the custom script extension you know from Azure against these servers for automation. Uh, we can directly install the Microsoft monitoring agent from these extensions or even use PowerShell desired state configuration. We also get Azure update management, change tracking and inventory and Azure monitor integration. So let's have a look in a quick demo. So here I'm in the Azure portal uh, and this is already a server I joined to Azure Arc for servers. You can see here that's my on-prem server 01, uh, which I already joined. Now, the first thing I want to show you is basically the new extension features. For that, I go down to extensions and I'm, you can see here, I didn't have any extensions added. So let's add a new extension. And I have a couple of extension available, depending if it's a Windows or a Linux machine. So for now, let's try out the custom script extension. And here I can basically just fire a custom script, in my case, a PowerShell script against that server. I can also add some arguments and parameters if I need to, I can quickly review this and then basically uh, create that task and that deployment. Now this will just take that script and run it on my Azure Arc enabled server. So my script is very simple. It basically will just create a text file with all the services running on that machine. So you can see here I'm on that machine. I did not have anything there in the C drive there. It will take a little bit of time until the deployment is done. But when the deployment is done, uh, we can now go back to that machine and you will see that the script created now a text file with all the services in it. And again, you can basically run any PowerShell commands or any PowerShell script you want against this machine. Uh, it doesn't matter where it's running. So for some of our Azure management features, we need the Microsoft monitoring agent or MMA agent to be present on these servers. Now with the new extensions, we can simply deploy that directly from Azure Arc. So let me show you how. So let's add the Azure monitoring agent or the Microsoft monitoring agent. Create. And the simple thing I'm going to need to do is basically just enter the workspace ID and the workspace key. And then I can go out and deploy the monitoring agent directly to my server um, running on prem or at another cloud provider without going out and manually installing that. And this enables new features like log analytics, update management, and many more for that specific server. So after that agent is deployed, I can now go, for example, to my automation account and have a look at change tracking, for example. And here I can see all the changes happening to my Azure VMs, but also my non Azure VMs. And what I want to do now is join that server, that on-prem server zero one to my change tracking solution. So I'm going to add on uh, that server, click on enable. And I'm also going to do that for inventory. So I'm going to add my server um, here to my inventory solution. And here I can just say, okay, I just want to add that available server here. 
And this will, will take a couple of minutes to basically replicate all the specific logs for the inventory and change tracking solution to work. What I can also now leverage is Azure Update Management. Now you can see here, I get a list of my Azure VMs, but also my servers, which are running outside of that. Now, let me show you how that now looks in Azure Arc. So for that, I just go to Update Management. And you can see here, I can now see all the missing updates, but only for that specific machine. So uh, you can see here a couple of security updates missing and I wanna go out and install them. For that, I create a new update deployment. I give that a name. Again, I'm using now the computer name for that, but obviously you can have something more common. Uh, you can also use the centralized update management if you want to, so you can update a group of machines. I can set the reboot options for that machine. And then the next step is I can now go out and say, hey, update now or schedule that task. And I can even make it a recurring task. So I can say every Tuesday. But for now, let's just update right now. And then we can go out and select the updates we want to install. So for me, it will be all. I can also include or exclude specific updates if I want to. I can then run pre and post scripts if I need to, if I need to stop certain services and so on. And at the end, I can review and then basically go out and create that update deployment. Now, this is great. If you're now a server admin of only that specific server, you can now control the updates and update management just from there. So you can see here, here's my update deployment schedule. And with the help of a little bit of video editing, we can jump in time to see what happens when this job has finished or while that job is running. Let's go to history. And you can see here now with a little bit of video to editing, we can see uh, that this update deployment is in progress. And when it's done, we can then basically have a look at um, the overview, what, has, what actually happened. So we can see here now it was successful. And if we have a look at that update deployment, you can see here successfully update installed nine updates on that server, everything went fine. And if I go back to the missing update page, I can see here everything was installed. I just have some new um, Defender updates available. So another new integration we are getting with the new extension feature is the integration into Azure Monitor. And Azure Monitor allows us basically to get performance data for your machines, um, which you joined using Azure Arc. Let's have a quick look. So I can now go and enable Azure Monitor for that specific server. And for that, I just go and click enable. This will then take a couple of minutes to basically configure the MMA agent uh, on your machine and then sending um, the data to the specific log analytics workspace and the Azure monitor. And I can see here, I get a map view uh, with that specific server. I can see what is connecting, which ports is it using. I get some more information on that machine. I can get some health information. I can get some network properties or machine properties here as well. I can then also go and have a look at the performance view. And here I get some really interesting data. For example, um, disk performance or also like storage available or storage used. I can see the CPU utilization uh, of that server. I can see the memory utilization. I can see how the drives are doing with local IOPS uh, or throughput, uh, latency, which is in very, in often very interesting. Um, and I get all that information also about like data from the net, from a networking side and so on. So this gives me a great view um, where I can use Azure Monitor to basically have a look at that specific system. The next thing I want to show you is inventory. I already told you that we enabled this solution before, but now I can see the inventory of that specific machine. So to show you that this actually works, let's just install um, some software here. In my case, I'm going to install Firefox. And then if I go back to the inventory solution, I can now see that Firefox is installed on that machine and I can basically take actions if I don't want to have that there and basically reach out um, 
to the server admin itself. I can also see that for other things like registry files, Windows services, but this also works for Linux machines as well. I can also then have a look at change tracking. And now this is interesting because now I can see what changes were actually made to that uh, system, to that uh, operating system. So you can see here, I installed Firefox and it also installed a couple of other things like the maintenance service and did a couple of other changes uh, there as well. So I can actually get a great overview about what is happening to that operating system. And again, this is nothing new. This is just now integrated into what we already had in the uh, automation account. But now I get it, I can basically use role-based access to give access only to specific set of servers to the server admins. I hope this video gave you a quick overview about the new features for Azure Arc enabled servers and how you can use that to manage your hybrid servers running on-prem or at other cloud providers. If you liked that video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you in the next one.